Hey, very good Thursday evening, everybody. Thanks for stopping by for your pinpoint forecast. We started with sunshine today. Cloud cover worked in for the afternoon. It was beautiful as they came in, but here's kind of the source. Southwest, you see all that cloud cover taking over the state of Texas. And as of the 6 to 7 o'clock hour, it looks like some shower activities trying to drift down the I-10 corridor. Here's the reality of it, though. The air down here at the surface is very dry. Your dew point temperatures in the 20s. That brown color is there. So anything that's falling from those clouds at this moment is evaporating before it hits the ground. So I think this evening we'll call it just a 10% chance for a couple sprinkles to a little bit of drizzle. Your pinpoint forecast shows you that chance. And in the morning, most of this should be clearing to the west and the southwest of the Brazos Valley before sunrise. Now, that is important because we do have temperatures forecast to get down just close to or right at freezing. Our northern counties, where you see those 20s, I think you're going to see the clouds clear probably after midnight. So that's going to allow your temperatures to drop just above freezing in Brian College Station is our current outlook, and then that near freeze down across our western counties. Before any of the actual precipitation starts, I think we're still above freezing. So at this point, it's just a 10% chance for a little uh, sprinkle activity to a light drizzle. At this potential moment, I don't expect any travel issues in the morning. We'll be monitoring it very closely as we move through the overnight hours. Tomorrow, the clouds start the day. The sunshine finishes it. Temperature-wise, with the south wind at 5 to 10, we get closer to average, not quite there, anywhere from about the low to mid-50s or what we expect coming up for your Friday. We will get to the seasonable levels, though, by Saturday, closer to 70 on Sunday. A couple showers possible. Better chance for rain moves through during the overnight hours. That's a cold front. Breezy south winds turn to brisk north winds. Temperatures back to the seasonable level by Monday, but it will be windy, so we'll feel a lot cooler as we start next week once again. We've got more details over at kbtx.com and, of course, the latest tonight on News 3 at 10. Once again, I don't think that the rain's going to make it to the ground, and if it does, I don't think it's going to be a huge concern, but it is something we will need to monitor for the next several hours.